51,000 men lost their lives in three days, 72 hours in Gettysburg. Uh, one, one female lost her life. Um, in fact, she was the only female and the only civilian to die in Gettysburg, believe it or not. Her name was Jenny Wade. She was in her early 20s and was making bread in her sister's kitchen and a stray bullet hit her in the head and killed her instantly. Uh, there were nine women total, if I remember right, that had varying roles in the, uh, the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, most of them were nursing, health, that, that sort of thing. But 51,000 men died in 72 hours. That's a lot. Um, going through high school, I remember reading books and uh, learning about it. We spent a pretty good time learning about Gettysburg in particular. Uh, it just didn't put it into perspective. But as we started going through the museum, I realized that I recognized names and, and faces and pictures um, so see, deep down somewhere that information was there and it was starting to come out and it, it really brought the museum and Gettysburg to life for me. Uh, you know, I, I, in high school I remember learn, learning about this, uh, this guy named uh, Bayard Wilker, Wilks, Wilkson, Bayard Wilkson. Uh, he was 19 years old, he was an artillery commander and he was on his horse and a 12 pound cannonball took his leg clean off, his right leg clean off. He obviously went down and um, he took his scarf and he tried to tie it around the, his, his limb to stop the bleeding. 
Uh, he was taking a drink from his canteen and he realized one of his men was more injured than he was and offered him the canteen. The, the soldier took the canteen and um, yeah, unfortunately Bayard ended up dying of his wounds at 19. Um, his father, Sam uh, Wilkson, was a reporter. And two days later, after the battle, his father ended up finding his son buried in a shallow grave. Um, pretty amazing if you really stop and think about it at 19. I know at 19 I had no idea what I was going to be doing with my future. At 34, I still have no idea what I'm doing with my future. So for this kid, and I use that term loosely, he was an adult, but at 19 you're a kid. This kid had achieved so much in such a short time, it just, it's so sad to think that his future was cut short like that. Um, so again, I, I, I find myself at a loss for words, which is something rare for me. Going through the museum, I thought I was just going to another museum. I was just experiencing history. Uh, and quickly I realized that that couldn't have been further from the truth. Especially once we got out of the museum and we started hitting the battlefield itself. Uh, you're taught it was a battlefield. It, it wasn't that big, but it was. It, it took us 24 miles to cover all of the Gettysburg battlefield. We spent two hours in the museum and three hours driving, and that wasn't enough time. But with the kids and, and everything, that's the time we had. So if you're going to go there, I definitely suggest give yourself all day. Bring a lunch, bring a snack, put it in the car, because once you're done in the museum, you're going to be driving. And at one point, we just kind of realized we can't keep stopping at every marker. We can't keep stopping at every piece of information. We have to kind of quickly pick and choose what we want to see, because we were running out of daylight and, and, and time. Uh, I would definitely suggest going to Gettysburg. Um, there's just something about it that um, really, really brings the past into perspective, into the future. You know, the, obviously there was a winning side and a losing side, but in my personal opinion, that's all irrelevant anymore. 51,000 men gave up their lives for a way of life that they believed in. Whether that was right or wrong, in my mind, that doesn't matter anymore. They were fighting for their friends, their family, their land, their beliefs, their life. And, and 51,000 of them gave it up that day. And what these men did was incredible to say the least. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully the video does it some justice, though I feel it doesn't. Um, I guess my parting word would be go to Gettysburg, learn, learn about the people that fought and died for us to live in the country we live in. And I think we would all be a little bit more humble to realize that we live in a pretty good country that has some questionable past, but it was just a bunch of people trying to do what they could at the time and doing what they thought was right at the time.